In this video, I'm going to be breaking down a really, really good concept for beating double flats or Mabel coverage. Um, actually, really any defense in the game, but this is really, really good for Mabel defense. I'm going to show you why in this video. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. It's completely uh, free to subscribe to my channel. It just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we will release every single day here on the YouTube channel. So let's jump into the video. Um, I just want to talk about a quick concept with you today out of the play trips tied in verticals. Now, if you want my trips tied in ebook, if you want all of my ebooks, if you want all my exclusive stuff, over 25 offensive and defensive guides, those will be linked in the description. You can get everything um, uh, by joining the Patreon for just $10. It literally gets you all of it. So for just $10, you literally will be able to learn how to run every coverage in the game, all the match coverages, all kinds of pressure that you probably never thought was possible in this game. In addition to that, on the offensive side, we got some of the best route combinations combinations in the community so if you want to check that out again that'll be linked down below but let's just get into the video i really want to break down this concept and first and foremost we're going to use kind of the meta and then we're going to break it down a little bit different from that as well so this used to be a really popular route combo out of trips tied in and most people have stopped running this but this is actually really good especially this year so i'm just going to set up the double mabel meta that is a uh, cloud at 30 and then a curl flat at about 10 or so. And you see, we're gonna be kind of defending out of this right here. Now, the user's gonna be over here. We're gonna come back to that. And we're gonna deal with that in just a second. But what I want you to focus on is this route to the, the right. So it's a corner route to the tight end with a, a wheel route to the running back. Now, I like to smart route the corner route if I can, um, like if it's a first and 10 or something like that. On the left side, I'm not gonna talk too much about the left side. You can honestly do whatever you wanna do. Um, one of my favorite route combinations right now is a zig, a dig, and a comeback. So something like this is really good, okay? Uh, but anyways, what you'll see here is a low ball to the tight end is really good against zone coverage. They have to man this up. They have to pay, basically play man to man. So literally, um, I'm going to set it up again. You'll see the wheel. What the wheel does this year for your offense is it pulls zones so, so good. And so if they're doing a double Mabel the wheel will pull the flats out and then you can just you see there that if i don't low ball it though that's the problem and that's where like i again i want to really highlight that's why i like to smart route the route that is why i like to smart route the route right there because if you if you if you run it at its default depth where you know it's about um it's such a sharp corner it's almost like a slant out um it's not going to get the depth that you need for the zones to get pulled out so if you smart route it though You'll see the low ball is really, really good. As you can see right there, I can just easily low ball that right in and it gets open consistently um, against this defense. So what they what are they going to have to do to stop it? What they're going to have to do to stop it, let me show you. This is a curl or a vert hook and this is a curl flat zone over here. And I just want you to watch how this works. A lot of times this will still get open. Um, you're just going to basically pass lead to the right and aggressive catch it. That was a little bit of a bad example. Let me show it to you again and then uh, we'll cover some other coverages that you will see. So the general meta is not gonna be that good of a look against it. You're gonna have to get something like this right here. Obviously, can they use it? Sure. Um, you know, can they just use it with their user defender? Yeah, they can, but you can have a curl over here or something to hold their user, okay? Um, but anyways, you'll see right here, you're just going to pass lead this outside and a lot of times, because they don't have, they have to have they have to have a vert hook that's shaded underneath and they have to have like a, you know, some zone that gets about 15 yards down the field. So you'll see with this curl flat because of my wheel route, this, the, yeah, you can't throw it right there, but you can wait on this and throw this on the sideline really easily. Now I want to show you another thing that you can do with this that is really, really good. So another thing that you can do, let's say that they are doing the vert hook deal and they're, they're giving you this number. Okay. Now what we can do is number one we can attack them in the seam so we could go to a setup like you know i mean verticals is fine we can go to something like this and what you'll see here now is there's no deep half so a lot of times you can throw that in the seam the running back kind of or the um jair alexander made a crazy play on that we'll show you that again but a lot of times what you can do is if they're not going to use her that uh or if they're not gonna or they're gonna play it like that you can do this little aggressive catch right there Again, Jair is just a, a demon with the deep out zone KO and all that. 
but you can kind of mess with that a little bit if you want to. But the other thing that I really like to do with this is if they're going to run something like this, understand there's no deep, deep zone. So you go to the play PA slot corner, you will the running back. Notice the corner route is deeper. Now look, watch that corner right to the sideline. You see there it gets open. Um, you, know, you know, and again, you see how we can be able to make a play play on the ball. So if they're gonna if they're gonna kind of sit in these underneath zones, something like this right here, it's it's fine. They can do that, but they're very vulnerable on the corner route when it actually cuts to the sideline. See what I'm saying? You see how the wheel will kind of suck the purple in. And then it's gonna leave this. It's gonna leave this vulnerability for this uh, for this corner round. Again, this is a smart right of corner. If you don't like this one, use the one out of PA slot corner or curl flat. They're both fine. And you'll see here again. You see how you can kind of fit that in on the sideline. You want to pass lead kind of up and away, just so that you don't get any weird random interceptions. But that's what I like to do. And then now I want to spend just a few more seconds with you showing this out of um, a non-zone drop defense. Now, if they don't do zone drops, it's actually a lot easier to deal with um, in what you'll see here. So again, I like to do this out of verticals. You can do this out of doubles and sail or all those other ones with the deeper corner, but I do like the sharper corner. If you have a tight end apprentice, you can do that as well. But anyway, here's cover four, shaded outside or shaded down. And you'll see here that there the quarter, that outside quarter by Jair will play this. Um, that's primarily because I threw that a little bit too early. If they jump the flat route, okay, really important. If they jump the flat, then just wait on the tight end. Just wait on it. Low ball, aggressive catch. See, I can kind of cut that off and it can become a nice little route for me. Now, um, let's say, for example, that they're running a cover three coverage. Cover three is a little easier, but again, the hard flat. Notice one other thing that I haven't shown you yet. You can aggressive catch those wheels. So they have to have a yellow zone to guard the wheel. Um, and, and, and the beauty of this is, so now you're gonna get a kind of a cover two, kind of a cover two style, something like this. Um, you know, and now what can you do? Well, now your corner um, and your wheel. So your wheel is gonna pull out here. You've got that nice, easy read. So if they pull away, your wheel is open. If they cut and they, if they come down hard on your wheel, which is basically a shaded down for hook and hard flat like this right here. Now look at my wheel or my corner route against that coverage. So that two man combination is simple, um, really effective. And then on the back side, you can do something simple like this, or you could do the tried and true, you know, little concept like this right here where you have the hitches and stuff, just something to hold their user. And then as you see that right there is such a good route. So. Anyways, that's what I wanted to show you. Just that wheel uh, corner route concept, really effective against man zone. Doesn't matter what they do. If you want to learn more about this offense, learn the left side of the setup, learn everything that you need to know to make trip side in absolutely unstoppable. The, the stuff is all in our Patreon. You get every ebook all year, every update by joining the membership. It's only $10 to sign up. There's a link in the description below. So if you want to go check that out, just head on down to the description of the video. Click the link that I put down there and uh, it'll let you go check out that Patreon membership. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.